Peter, what's, what's your theory on the weekend? Uh, why it was such a fallback? Um, I think attitude was a big part to play. Um, the first half was very disappointing. Um, they completely outplayed us, so um, very clean and, and silky around the contest, and their finishing skills were great. Um, so we just didn't put on enough pressure, and um, they really blew the game apart. Um, second half, attitude a little bit better, a bit, little bit more pressure, and you know I think there was only a goal difference in the, in the score after that. Why do you say attitude? I mean, finals were still on the line. Was it the boys weren't switched on? Did they not have the hunger? I can't answer that, mate. I, I, I really don't know. Um, it's just the boys were flat, and um, it's, it's just not good enough at this level. Um, and we've shown that at times this year. And like I say, it's very disappointing, and it's just not good enough. Is it surprising, given the Essendon game, your pressure was fantastic, and mm. Saturday night totally different? Absolutely. Um, we're just shown up by a very classy outfit and a team that is obviously in premiership mode. How good is Geelong compared to the other two premiership, or three premiership mode teams, particularly mm. uh, the likes of Sydney and, uh, and Hawthorne? Yeah, I find it very hard to split those sides. Um, they're obviously great contested ball winning sides and, and they're great on the outside too. So um, it's going to be a great final series for them and um, I really can't split them. You've been around a while, it's the 150th week and so on. Um, what's, what's been a harder year to handle this year with the, with the frustrations and, and disappointments or uh, 8, 9 and 10? Mm. Um, this year has been extremely disappointing. Um, I think we had high hopes as a club, playing group, um, and we just haven't been able to deliver. Um, we've had we've had injuries, um, but that's no excuse. Um, we've had injuries in the past and still had really good seasons and, and got something out of it. But um, we definitely feel like we've underachieved and we haven't got the best out of ourselves this year. Um, there's many reasons for that. Um, and we just, you know, we've got two games to go. We've got to put in good performances and obviously get our heads right and have a really strong pre-season. Do you see any similarity at all, you know, now as a senior player to eight, nine and ten when you were building and then got back into premiership mode? Do you see any similarities out of this year to that phase? Um, yes and no. Um, I think we're a little bit more developed and our younger guys have had three, four and five seasons under their belt. So um, we expect more and we need to be delivering more as a side. Um, we've got high standards and we want to get to that. Do you need another quality midfielder, do you think? Or do you just think if you get all your boys back, you'll be sweet? Um, we're really confident with the, the midfield group that we've got. Um, but it would be nice to get a couple of, you know, Luke Shoeys in, in this year's draft. It would be nice. Are you quick enough, Matty, through the midfield? I mean, that seemed to be the obvious sign over the weekend and Geelong are quick and their ball movement's pretty good. As a team, your midfield, are you quick enough? You're probably asking the wrong bloke. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm not quick enough, but I think we've definitely got the speed within the group. Um, it's something we'd like to add into, into the, uh, the mix. Um, you know, but getting a, a full pre-season into the, the younger guys that are coming through, I think um, we've definitely got the mix to, to be contenders in... Um, September. What about with Wellingham? Would he almost become almost like a recruit to you again next year? Is what he has shown the last couple of weeks is the type of thing you need more of. Would he be like a new recruit almost? Absolutely. sherry has been fantastic. He's he's working his way into some really good form. He's been able to string together three and four games uh, in a row, and he hasn't had that for a while. So, and he's showing that with his form. He's he's got great finishing skills in front of goal, but. He was really strong in the contest on the weekend and one of our better players and um, you know, he's fantastic. At 150 games, it's, it's been a terrific story from where you came from. You're pretty proud of what you've achieved at the AFL level? Yeah, it's a huge honour. Um, I love this footy club and I'm very grateful for the opportunity that it's given me. Uh, when I, I rocked up, I certainly wouldn't have thought I'd, I'd reach this milestone, but I did know that I was going to give it absolutely every everything I had. and. Um, I'm just very grateful for the footy club for giving me that opportunity. When you got that chance, how many games do you think, did you think you'd play after being overlooked and winning the sand over to force your case? Oh, if I you know, got a handful of games, I would have been pretty happy. Um, I just wanted to get the absolute best out of myself and play at the highest level I could, whether that was for West Coast or Subiaco. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was getting the absolute best out of myself. and. Um, I you know, just worked extremely hard and I'm yeah, very happy to reach this milestone. Give me start a little bit later, is that um, work ethic I suppose, was that instilled through you knowing just how hard you had to work to try and make it? Yeah, like I said, I'm um, just grateful to be given that opportunity. I was 20 years of age and I've played a few seasons at Subiaco, so I 
I just wanted to make every year and every opportunity that I got at AFL level count. And um, hopefully I've done that and I'll continue to try to get the best out of myself um, for the remainder of my career. I suppose, I'm sorry, I suppose back then mature age players weren't really in vogue yet. Did you ever come to a point, even though you were still quite young, that you thought maybe I won't get that AFL chance? Yeah, there, there weren't too many mature age at that time and I was probably almost the last real roll of the dice before I had to make a decision um, with the occupation. Um, so, yeah, very grateful for that opportunity and uh, it came at a good time. I came to the club where, you know, the midfield was Judd, Kerr, Cousins, Fletcher, Stengline, these sort of guys. So I came into it looking at it that it's going to be the best footy apprenticeship anyone could have and um, lucky things fell my way. So what was the occupation that you had in mind of? I just would have been in the building industry, so getting up at six, putting on the work boots and getting dirty, so uh, a bit different. Yeah. Don't you that every Saturday or Sunday, whatever match day is? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not too different to my, my footy style. It's not pretty at all. And was there a point where you, obviously after that mature age start, that you felt like you really belonged in the AFL and you could mix it? When did it sort of uh, get recognised for you? Um, I think my first full season was 07 and the year pretty much you gained confidence as the year went. Um, I played every game that year and by the end of it, um, I felt like maybe I could, you know, play a few seasons at this level and um, I was really enjoying learning off, you know, the midfield that we had and I think I just absolutely loved my footy. Um, you know, just coming up every day instead of, you know, getting on the building site and coming to the footy, uh, I just wanted to make this last as long as I could and, um, you know, I've been out the last eight years and hopefully there's a few more. What do you want over the next few years? Well, we obviously haven't played too many finals games since 07 um, and I want to, I've been a part of that rebuilding phase um, and I want to be a part of the team that, you know, is hopefully standing on the podium the last day of September. So um, I'll be doing everything I can to make sure I'm a part of that team. Are you seeing enough in this group to think that of a finals bounce back next year straight away so the thing we have to build back towards I think we need to make sure that you know we need our best team available every single week and so we get that right and then obviously the game plan we need to be making sure that our, you know our hunger's there to execute that um, I think we've got enough contested ball players yeah. that can stand up in finals footy and um, yeah we're confident we have a good run at it we can we can be a contender Matt you sort of came out of the blue in 2011 from off the wooden school did the weight of expectation this year being one of the two or three premiership favourites, did that tell them the group at all? Um, looking back now, I, I don't think you know it was too much ex expectation. We had high expectations of ourselves. Um, we're very disappointed we haven't been able to get to that level. Um, but there's a, a number of factors that you know we just haven't been good enough to execute with the playing group that we've had available. Um, we had injuries last year and we were able to overcome that. Um, this year we haven't been as good, so it's something we de definitely address over the next few weeks and look to improve.